What's going on guys? Welcome to the channel. So I'm still kind of sick. I'm still getting over this flu, but I feel a lot better. And I feel like I got some of my voice back, at least enough of it to clip this video out. So at the end of the video, I'm probably going to do the end uh, in a few days. So I might sound a little bit better when you see the end of the video. Um, you know, we'll see in years from now, all of this is irrelevant. This is all going to be memories anyway. But today's video is all about the 10 most expensive Sega Saturn games, US release anyway, of 2019. Now, one other thing before I get started on the top 10, I hit 500 subscribers. As of right now, I'm a little bit over 500, and I just wanted to say thank you uh, to everybody that watches my channel. My whole point in getting involved in YouTube is to bring something back to the community. And, you know, I don't have many friends out here, but the friends I do have, uh, you know, work in, own, or manage, you know, a lot of, uh, you know, some retro game stores in my area. And, you know, you develop small relationships with people like that when you deal with them for, you know, years. So, you know, I've got a lot of awesome games from people like that. And, uh, you know, people doing me a lot of favors. I just want to say thank you to all the people in my area that have hooked me up. I definitely appreciate that. And it's like stuff where people were just kind and didn't want anything in return. So, thank you. A few people I want to shout out. You know, Dat Game Collector, that's one of the first YouTubers to reach out to me. Um... Uh, CeeLo that watches every single one of my live streams, you know, that dude's like, he's like slowly becoming like my best friend. Like we chat at night and it's great. And hopefully when I get my voice back, we can chat some more. Um, you know, Gaming Off The Grid, check their channel out. Uh, you know, they, they collabed did a video with me. I thought that was awesome. Uh, they're great guys. Uh, they're, they, they're just as cool as they are in their videos, you know, dealing with them outside of YouTube. So, you know, check their channel out too. And, you know, the other day, you know, Eric Landon RPG, and if you haven't watched his channel and you like RPGs, check his channel out. The dude is a wealth of knowledge, especially for that, like, 90s and 2000 era RPG scene. Um, you know, he's recently, he's gotten into the PS4, and he's just got an amazing wealth of knowledge when it comes to RPGs. And uh, I commented on one of his videos uh, yesterday, I think it was, and he responded back with, you know, I love what you're doing with your series, you know, watch your video. I went, whoa. You know, like somebody like that watches my content. That's awesome. So thank you, Eric Landon RPG, if you're watching this video. I appreciate you stopping by. And uh, I look forward to, uh, you know, getting on your Patreon when I get some money up and reading some of your books. So anyway, with that out of the way, guys, let's check out the 10 most expensive Sega Saturn games of 2019. At number 10, we have Mega Man X4. Now, I just want to say this. Mega Man X4 is my favorite X game of all time. Really, I like 1 and 4. The ones that are rare and hard to find, like they're okay, but honestly, they're not as good. The ones that you can get more easily, they're the Mega Man games that are better, at least in the X series, I and mean, at least from my experience anyway. But I love X4 on the PS1. I know recently over the past couple of years, it has gone up in value, and the Sega Saturn version is kind of crazy. So a lot of people say that the parallax scrolling in this game is better. Uh, they say the Saturn handles the 2D graphics better. They say that there's more included in this game than the PS1 version. And I've also heard things about the sound. Now, none of this is confirmed. I'm sure some of it is confirmed. It's just not confirmed by me. This is all hearsay, stuff that I've heard from other people. But it is one of the rarest and most expensive Sega Saturn games of 2019, coming in at a price of $215. Damn, for Mega Man X4? It's the 10th most expensive U.S. release Sega Saturn game of 2019. At number nine, we have a game called Herx Adventure. Now, I don't know anything about this game. As a matter of fact, I haven't even heard of this game until I started doing research for this video. Now, this game kind of seems like, like an action platformer with kind of a 3D environment. You can walk around, obviously. You can uh, throw sheep at things. I, I guess that's kind of cool. I don't know. This could be a great game. I don't know. I've never played it before. Maybe I should burn it and try to see if it's any fun, and maybe I'll get it then. I have no idea. But I probably won't, considering the price this thing goes for. Now, I will say the 2D graphics on this game do look pretty good, but just looking at the cover art and the game in general, like it just seems like a game that would be in the $30 or $40 range. But it isn't. Apparently, it must be very rare, and people must need it to complete collections, because coming in at a price of $220, Herc's Adventure is the ninth most expensive Sega Saturn game of 2019. At number eight, we have a game called Albert Odyssey. Now, Albert Odyssey is a working designs title, and we all know that for the Saturn and the Sega CD, how expensive those working designs games can get. 
Now this game's not crazy expensive. I mean, it's up there. I mean, it's number eight on this list, but it's not as expensive as other games or other games on this list that are working designs games, I should say. Now the graphics of this game kind of remind me of an early Tales of game, like Tales of Fantasia or Destiny 1 and 2, or maybe I should say Tales of Eternia for all the sticklers out there. And then the battle system kind of reminds me of Grandia in kind of a weird way, you know, I don't know. But this game, you know, hopefully I can find it for a deal one day. I haven't run across it yet, but I am hopeful. I, th I think I'm going to find this game one day. I usually find the games that I'm set out to look for. Anyway, coming in at a price of $240, Albert Odyssey is the eighth most expensive Sega Saturn game of 2019. At number seven, we have the Sega Ages Collection. Now, Sega's been releasing compilations on discs for a long time. I mean, my mind tells me this is something that's really only been going on for a couple of years when really, even before they became just a software company, they've been releasing compilations for different systems. And this one's got all your Space Harriers and your Outruns, and you're actually seeing footage of Outrun uh, running right now. And it looks really good. I mean, look at this version of Outrun. I mean, after watching the gameplay footage and some of the games running on the Saturn, like, I just feel like this same game would not look right if it ran on, let's say, a PlayStation 1. I feel like Sega, they... Actually, the Saturn, I heard, was modeled after arcade hardware for the time, so it makes perfect sense to port some of their classic arcade games over to the Saturn, which is pretty much a dumbed-down version of the arcade hardware at the time. Anyway, I think the rarity drove the price on this game because I remember this game not being super expensive, but it just went up recently. And, and again, it's probably due to the hype from all the Sega compilations that have been released recently. And it is a working designs game, so couple those two together. Anyway, coming in at a price of $260, Sega Ages is the seventh most expensive Sega Saturn game of 2019. At number six, we have Saturn Bomberman. Now, I've never played a Bomberman game. I know they've made them for like every system, ported them around. This particular version of Bomberman is supposed to be a fan favorite. It's big in competition. Supposedly, you can hook like multi-taps up and get like eight people playing at the same time, blowing each other up. I mean, that sounds pretty cool. That kind of sounds like the way they do Smash Brothers competitions on the N64. Now the soundtrack to this game, and I don't know if it's just this level or all the levels sound like this, but that 90s drum and bass soundtrack, that jungle soundtrack, like I'm totally into jungle and drum and bass. I mean, I'm a, you know, I did a lot of my growing up in the 90s and I listened to a lot of drum and bass and jungle. And it also kind of reminds me of Air Fighters 3. What am I saying, Air Fighters 3? Sonic Wings 3 as far as the soundtrack goes. So yeah, this Bomberman game looks cool. You know, I guess I could try to get into a Bomberman game if I had other people to play around me. But coming in at a price of $280, damn, Thunder Bomberman costs $280, my God. It is the sixth most expensive Sega Saturn game of 2019. At number five, we have House of the Dead. Now, do you remember how I talked about how the Sega Saturn was modeled after the arcade hardware of its time? Well, maybe I talked about that in one of my previous videos. But it's kind of like how the Dreamcast was modeled after the Sega Naomi hardware. Anyway, it makes perfect sense at the time that Sega would take an arcade game and port it over to a dumbed down version of arcade hardware. Because House of the Dead is a game I remember playing as a kid. I remember there being lines at the arcade for this game in Charles County, at uh, the St. Charles Town Center as a matter of fact, the arcade they had in the mall. And that was the closest mall to me at the town I grew up in. That mall was an hour away. It was either St. Charles Town Center with the arcade or the Annapolis Mall with the movie theater. And I choose the arcade every time. Anyway, this game's kind of hard to find. I've never seen it out in the wild, and a lot of people tell me they get the Japanese version of this game because it's the same game. It doesn't have a lot of uh, language barriers or anything like that. And, you know, with the shooters, that's normally the route I go down. Anyway, at $290, House of the Dead is the fifth most expensive Sega Saturn game of 2019. At number four, we have Mega Man 8. Now, it's kind of funny that two Mega Man games made it on this list. X4 is my favorite X game, and Mega Man 8 is my favorite Mega Man game. And they're both on this list. And you want to know why it's my favorite game? Well, you should know if you watch my channel. It's the shoot 'em up levels. They look and they play fantastic. Now, if you really want to play this game on the PS1, you can get it for like 15 bucks. This game is super cheap, just like X4. 
but they say that the 2D power of the Saturn depicts these games better than the PlayStation ever could. Something about the sound, you know, I don't know. If you're a tech guru and you know all the specs, you know, let me know in the comments down below. But I just love this game, and I would love to find a physical copy of this game for the Sega Saturn. I've just never seen one. I've never even seen one of these at a retro store in my area. Anyway, must be pretty rare. And it drove the price up on this game just like it did on House of the Dead and Saturn Bomber, man. Is it $320? Mega Man 8, the fourth most expensive Sega Saturn game of 2019. At number three, we have a game called Burning Rangers. Now, Burning Rangers is a game where you extinguish fires, I believe. I've never played this game. I mean, Burning Rangers kind of looks like a cross between Virtual On and some kind of weird indie dojin game that you download on your PC. Because I've played games like this on my PC before, downloading them from uh, Japanese dojin sites. And a lot of times the menu systems, you can't understand what's going on. But you can kind of pick up on the gameplay and, you know, play some of these type of games. But I don't know, it just kind of reminds me of that. Uh, I do dig the aesthetic of the game, and, you know, just looking at the 3D graphics, it just screams Sega Saturn. Like, if you've ever played Panzer Dragoon Saga, it's got that same kind of feel going on, you know, with Saturn when they did the 3D, or, you know, Daytona USA, if you've ever played that. Anyway, this game, I've seen this a few times at retro stores recently. I can actually think of two stores that had this game in stock, which is kind of crazy, but coming in at a price of $340, Burning Rangers is the third most expensive. Sega Saturn game of 2019. At number two, we have Magic Knight Ray Earth. Now, thank goodness that the ROM for this game works through an emulator, because most Sega Saturn emulators can handle this game. If you have a PC, they can actually do the work. Um, you know, emulators that they have in RetroArch will actually work, or the cores that you choose will work for this game. Now, I've been looking for this game for a deal for quite some time. Actually, one of my local stores had it maybe six or seven months ago. They had a copy for $330 and it was missing the stickers. Uh, you know, Working Designs did a lot of you know, add-ins with the packaging and the collector's editions, and they were known for that at the time. And one of the things that this game had was some stickers that were in the back insert, kind of like the registration card. They didn't have that. I wasn't willing to pay any more than like $200 at the time. And I'm still not willing to pay any more than that. I mean, that I feel like this game's worth a little bit less than $200, but that's not what eBay says and the internet says. According to the internet, Magic Knight Ray Earth is worth $350 now. So yeah, the price has actually gone up a little bit in the last couple of months. But, you know, this is a fun game. It's a JRPG, and we all love those, those Japanese games that Working Designs brought over. I mean, God knows I do. And I'm, I'm not unique in that. I know a lot of you guys are into that stuff and collect that stuff, and I collect it too. But coming in at a price of $350, Magic Knight Ray Earth is the second most expensive Sega Saturn game of 2019. At number one, guys, you guessed it, we have Panzer Dragoon Saga. Now, this has been the most expensive Sega Saturn game for quite some time. And for good reason. This game rocks. It's excellent. It came out in small numbers. It's a great game. It's got a killer battle system. I mean, this game rocks. It doesn't have English voice acting, but I mean, honestly, I prefer the Japanese voice acting with subtitles anyway. You know, call me crazy. I don't know. But this game was actually spearheaded by a team that Sega assembled called Team Andromeda. And from what I understand, the person that, you know, kind of led that group was very young, very creative. And Sega gave that person and that team the creative freedom to kind of make this game as they wanted to. And, you know, fans wanted this game to come out, you know, fans of the series, not what few of them there were at the time, I'm sure. And they still put it out, even though they knew the Saturn was dying, it was not going to be sold in stores anymore. They still put this game out. Now, I've heard of numbers, maybe it's production numbers or sales numbers, I'm not quite sure, but I've heard of a number of 5,000 units, you know, so if that's accurate at all, that means, and of those 5,000, how many are still out there, you know, how many still exist or that are complete, you know, so you got the perfect storm of a great game that came out in small numbers, and it's, it's just really hard to find this game. This is a rare game. Unlike other games on this list that are kind of expensive, but are you know, semi-common, you might see 20 or 30 listings on eBay. You're not gonna see that many listings on eBay for Panzer Dragoon Saga. And when you do, they go for a lot of money. But coming in at a price of $700 even, Panzer Dragoon Saga is the most expensive Sega Saturn game of 2019 in the foreseeable future.
Okay, so I know what you're thinking, John, this game's more expensive, that game's more expensive. When I do these top tens, these are the rules that I kind of adhere to. No new copies, no variants, and no imports. So no variants, that means the Netlink edition. No imports, you know, that means no uh, Hyper Duel or none of those crazy expensive shooters on the Sega Saturn. But, you know, there still are some expensive games on the Saturn, my goodness. And, you know, not all of them are games I want to play. But do I still recommend collecting for the Sega Saturn? Absolutely. You know, you can get a, uh, a cart from the back called an Action Replay that enables you to play all the import stuff. Um, you can get another cart called a Pseudo Saturn cart. You can actually combine the two and do a Pseudo Saturn inside of an Action Replay. And then you can do burns. You can burn your own. You can buy burns on the internet. There's tons of ways and tons of different things you can do with your Saturn to play a lot of different games. These are just the most expensive US release games that aren't brand new. And some of them I really want to play, like Albert Odyssey, Magic Knight Ray Earth, which I, I think I have a burn of. Um, I would be interested to check out Mega Man X4 on the Sega Saturn, because X4 is my favorite X game, and I heard that it's better on the Saturn, and maybe that's why it's so expensive. Now, on this list, what games do I own? Well, I only own one game, and those of you that watch my channel probably already know what that is. I do have a copy of uh, Panzer Dragoon Saga. Um, it is an expensive game. No, I do not think it's worth the price of the game. Uh, but it is really good. It's got an awesome battle system. Uh, when you fight your enemies, you have to kind of like swing around to the back, the front, and the side of them to kind of stay out of their line of fire. And uh, you know, it's a pretty good battle system and not a super long game, but it is on four discs. But you know, back then it was so hard to fit so much information on a disc. And guys, I want to say thank you to help me hit 500 subscribers for helping me hit 500 subscribers. You know, thank you to everybody that watches my channel. Um, you know, I couldn't have done it without you. I really appreciate it. Well guys, thanks for watching. Now remember to like this video, remember to subscribe to the channel if you like awesome video games. Until next time guys, peace out.